What's up, guys? See Paper Scorps here, and we're back with the second Let's Play in the Let's Play series. Before we get started here, I want to mention that I am not copying Chugga Conroy. I'll tell the exact story of what happened. All right, but this that'll go. I just went to the screen because it'll go into something else if I wait too long. But I was sitting in New York. And I had my laptop with me, and I'm like, okay, I'll just go and check my YouTube account, see if I had any messages. So, after I check my messages, I go into subscriptions, and I see Chugga Conroy put up a video, Luigi's Mansion Episode 1. I literally almost broke my computer after that, because I was absolutely pissed. Oh well. Let's get started here with the second Let's Play. I'm not very happy to right now because I figured out I wasn't recording in 480p I was re recording in 480i and it wasn't it was making little black bars on the edge of the screen like big thick black bars on the edge of the screen now when I record like this it's gonna have little black bars it does that on my TV too it's just how Luigi's Mansion is so don't get drawn away by that let's get started here all right so the main storyline of Luigi's Mansion is that Luigi basically won a, a mansion. Oh, it's a sunny little mansion. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. 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 You ain't getting the mansion. That, it was on the paper with the rainbow and everything. You get this mansion. It looks as though it has a face on it. And the weird crows. Basically, Luigi won, won a mansion without even entering into the contest to win the mansion. He randomly got a thing in his mail, even though people in Mario don't have mail. He just randomly wins a mansion. Hello? So, I don't know. Don't ask me about it. But, hmm? starting out here, what we are going to do is we're going to rush ahead. Because in my previous recording, um, I didn't really like much of what I was saying in it. I was kind of jumbled up with words and stuff. And I wasn't really able to get it all out. But starting out here, we're gonna head up the stairs in the first room, which is the foyer. And go look at the door. You click A to look at things. And it's locked. And you hear a little ghost shriek type thing. And. Ooh. Shiny. I want shiny. Give me shiny. Oh. Oh, thank you. I want the shiny. He disappears. First key in the mansion, we find doubles instantly. God, I can't do that with dry lips. But I know my crap when it comes to this game. Basically, you enter this room and start stepping in. Here, you meet. Uh, probably my favorite character in the Mario series, considering it's an old man. Yeah, who is smaller than Luigi. It's a midget man. But this is the uh, this is the character in the game called Professor Elvin Gad, aka Professor Egad. And Egad is supposed to be like what someone used to say in like the 80s or 70s or something like Egad or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, basically, I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, I think I, th I randomly want a mansion. Yeah. Uh oh, this looks ugly. Man, you, get, you should not talk about ghosts like that. They're gonna kill you eventually in your sleep. They're just gonna, like, come up with a knife or something and go. And just, like, shank you in the head. So, your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm, where's this, you ask? Why, those. These crazy. These co. Oh man, I did the same thing as in the first recording. These cozy quarters are where I do my ghost study. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab. If you're in... If you're of a shortening mind, 
you won this mansion and a contest you didn't even enter, as, the, as I just explained before. Sounds pretty fishy to me. This mansion has nothing to do with fish, so how can it be fishy? <laughs> so you believe the mansion actually get, exists then? Yeah, I believe it exists considering we just were walking through it catching ghosts in it. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. The mansion is still real, though, Egad. Surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house, and I gotta turn on the audio on my computer. Now that I gotta look at what at you, I just recall a guy with a red hat, kinda like yours, went up into the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream, too? Maybe, but I think it's just Mario. Oh, yeah, your brother. You wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. Then you'll have to go after him. So that's the main plot, basically. Luigi wins a mansion in a contest he never entered. Now he has to go save his brother who went into the mansion and did nothing. But anywho, on this screen, um, ex this is explaining how you, the controls for the two different control types you can use. Ellis shoot out fire, water, and ice, which we'll get into later in the game. Um, uh, the control stick, or the the control stick, is used to the gray control stick, whatever it is. I don't exactly know what the exact name of it is, but it's to move Luigi. Um, the C stick, which is the yellow one, is to change direction to Luigi, which I use to, which you can need a lot to catch some rich ghosts, which I'll get into later. Speedy Spirits, not Rich Ghost. Sorry, I'm used to calling him that. Turn the flashlight on off is B. R to suck things up with a vacuum. Z to check your inventory. Y to check your map with the Game Boy Horror. X search with the Game Boy Horror. A examine doors and open doors. The other control setting is same thing except move move Luigi from side to side and you can't like move forward. It's only side to side moving. And then you kind of have to change the direction with the C stick. So. Basically, if you sit on this screen for exactly three minutes, a song by Kazumi Totaka's Ninth Note Signature can be found. If you sit on there and it'll play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the audio when it comes up here in a minute. So I will see you back as soon as the song is over. That's basically it for the song. It's a 19-note song. But anyway, let's get started off here in our tr in the training room. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. Yes, and you're trying to clean the ghosts or catch them, egad. Uh, I call it, this is this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and C6 to change direction. And at my attempt at this before, I did amazing at catching all these ghosts. I got everyone except for one, and that one just randomly disappeared. Okay, basically he's explaining that in the dark when you see a ghost, you're gonna hit him with your light. You can you have to have it turn. You can have it turned off, or you can kind of rotate into them. But what you do here is when you catch a ghost. You have to use the C stick and rot the C stick, yes, and rotate it the opposite way of where the ghost is. And what I do is I like moving it like that or jiggling it a little bit when it's in that one position. Because what it what it does is it oh, seems though it goes faster for me. So, but boss ghosts are kind of difficult when you try to attempt to do that. There are different ghosts than these in the game, so don't get used to get doing exactly these. They have larger health. Wait. I already missed that first one. I could have swore I would have got it a couple times with the light. Uh, oh well. And then, here are the last five. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get them all in one. Oh, I got it. 
four. No, I got three and then two more. So I got only one missed if I if I was looking at it right. That'll do how many ghosts you get? Nine ghosts. I don't know if there's something extra if you happen to get ten ghosts, but I, there are the little fireworks in the background. So, you ready to look for your brother now? Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. I didn't. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Go to the gallery. If you say no thanks, you'll just be kept in the training room and keep fighting against ghosts. But this gallery is used for holding portrait ghosts. You learn the story that... Um... I don't want to really give it away, but... Some ghost gave... Er... Set all the portrait ghosts free and basically... The storyline is you have to get, get all the portrait ghosts back. But if you want to look at these, you can click X and click A, and it says it's a statue, a very tall angel statue by the by the looks of it. Uh, if you want to go out of here, just talk to Egad. Um, you can ask, where am I? You're in the gallery. What is the Game Boy Horror? It's basically Game Boy Color souped up to have a camera, which we never got until the DSi. And you'll see later. You can say sorry to bother you, but you want to say go back to the lab. That's the only way to get to the mansion. Where do you go, Luigi? The mansion. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that they did that. I wanted to have a little bit more exploring. Apparently, Egad's house is like a little outhouse. Anyway, let's skip that, and we can talk to the Toad here. Ooh, ooh, where did you go, Mario? Wah, wah. Huh, Luigi? Wow, wow, wow! It's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh joy! He's like, whoa, wow! It's Luigi. Screwed. You thank goodness. Me, well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd want a mansion, and he never returned. Th then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts! And I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked. I literally didn't know what to do. It's awful. Please, please, please. You have to help me find Mario. If she doesn't get back, you'll have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. I'm tempted to say goodbye because I'm just that kind of person, but I gotta say leave it to me to continue. Oh, yeah. Yay, thanks Luigi, you made it. You made my dark and stormy night. Pfft, fail, you made my dark and stormy night. Now he just turns on the lights somehow randomly. Um, toads are used to save in this game. No other way of saving than that. But anyway, what you're gonna wanna do is after talking to Toad, you're gonna head over to this mirror. And what you, what the mirrors are used for in this game, if you look at them with your Game Boy Horror, and you um, search them, everything will start spinning, and then those little blue lights, and then it'll teleport you back to the foyer. It's it's helpful for later, because when you try to get some more um, stuff later, it, it will be extremely helpful to get those, so... Um, come on, can I get everyone? No, 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 come on. You don't want to lose all these coins, even though I just picked it. Um, before heading to the next room, there will be exactly... You you should have. Those will occasionally give a heart, I think. You should have 23 coins mm -hmm. before heading to the, f to the parlor. I, like, stuttered there. Rip the tablecloth off. And you'll see there's a coin behind it. Head over here. And it will give you coins galore. But basically what we're here to do is to start off our ghost hunting. Luigi's Mansion is kind of like a souped up way, like a Mario Ghostbusters. Which I have to admit, it's a cool game. No doubt about that, it's a really fun game. I've, I always liked it as a kid. And I accidentally did that, and I just probably screwed myself over with getting a bunch of cash. But, well, dark rooms are dangerous on here. Yes, they love the dark, and now they will get you blue hay. Now you're in for it, blah. -ha. Just like little red cap before you. Creeper face. You may want under lost in the dark forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you, huh? Blah, -ha. yes they are now. I already biffed all that money. After each room, I'll show you the amount of money that you're gonna want from each room. 
not the amount that you should have after you're all done from each room if you got everything else just the amount of, the, oh my God, the amount of money from each room suggestion for catching ghosts is you always want to sit into a corner if you can sit into a corner and start catching ghosts you will Sorry, you will be safe if you sit into a corner. They will never be able to hit you. But, um, the last thing here. I should give you money. Let me exit the room and re enter. Hmm. Ah, that won't work. Never mind. You have to go two rooms away from it for it to give you money. But there's basically one gold bar in that chandelier, and gold bars are extremely important. But this is going to be a key for the next room. And this is actually going to end off this episode of Luigi's Mansion. And something I should mention before I go is that after you, uh, after you go into the mansion, you can't head back out. Something you got to know for later, kind of. But anyway, this will end it off here. Next time we'll be continuing into the mansion and meeting our first speedy spirit. Ooh, search it up online if you want to know what it is. But, anyway, I will see you guys later for the next episode. Later. Mm -hmm.